Hello everyone, and welcome to today's energy reading with Guy Energy Wellness on Mystical Illuminations. I hope everyone is doing very, very well today. It is Sunday, July 18th. We are just a few days here away from Leo season. So you may find yourself clearing out some unwanted emotions, some baggage you've been carrying the last month very heavily, thinking about things very heavily that you're ready to either let go of or compromise with. So we'll just reach out and ask the guides, the angels, Mother Gaia, what is it that can assist us in transforming our energy today? We have the Ace of Earth. Tell me more about this new opportunity that is going on today in those guys and guys. Tell me more about this new opportunity. Is this a career opportunity, a, a new business, a new partnership? We have the Two of Cups, the, oh, and two Sevens. We have the Seven of Earth and the Seven of Water, also the Seven of Cups and the Seven of Pentacles. Whew. Sevens are very transformational and very, um, they let us know where we are in a certain task or where we are in our karmic cycle um like for instance when i see 737 or 757 i know i'm making progress on a specific lesson and that um when i see 777 or four sevens i know that i have transcended that particular lesson and that karmic cycle is complete and i can move on to another level of uh lessons or ascend to another level of awareness okay. one two seven seven you know the, today it may end up being a great day you might get some great news that uh, requires uh, a new partnership um, in some type of financial opportunity. And I see with this seven that we're taking time, spending time in nature, um, balancing our chakras and just it's kind of also like the hangman you're just kind of uh spiritually evolving and growing and and doing all this inner work as we're in cancer season um and going with the flow with this card and just kind of moving in the direction that life has taken you not overdoing anything um, at this moment, especially not until we get into Leo season when it's going to be time to uh, move forward fast and, and with action. Right now we're just in watery cancer, cancer um, coming up with new ideas for material abundance that will probably start coming into fruition this week, if not today, um, because of your new... Uh, emotional balance 
and moving and going with the flow of the universe. Right, two more cards, please. Another guy, an angel of guys. Guys, angels, another guy. Thank you. <laughs> okay, there we go. We have the king of fire. Like I said, um, there will be a lot of choices to make when we move into Leo season. This is definitely the Leo card right here. And choices, the two of pentacles. Financial choices, perhaps. Um, how you spend your money, where you spend your money, what you put your money into. Um, uh, are you growing? <clears throat> are you going to grow a new business? Or are you going to continue to work where you're working now? Make sure you make this decision before we begin Leo season. We really want to move forward with our new ideas and put them into action and put all our strength into whatever project we decide to work on because this cancer season you really had a lot of time to work on inside and relax and uh, rekindle relationships. Um, but come Leo season, I don't want to say all hell's going to break loose. It depends on how, look, it looks like you've done the internal work and you've let go of things that were no longer serving you and just kind of gone with the flow. I think, uh, your choice is going to be pretty clear when we come into Leo season because you know what you want and you know what direction you want to move into and you're going to be just fine. Okay, let's, uh, let's draw a guy at work, a card. <clears throat> Please have clarification or any additional uh, information about this reading. Any additional messages about this reading for today. first row we have night wind during this whole entire month we have been um facing our fear releasing subconscious thoughts and really healing um perhaps our relationships mostly with this two of cups here um and even our <clears throat> excuse me and even our um our jobs, um, where we bring in our material abundance. We've been really um, facing the fear and moving forward and just tackling everything that doesn't sit right with us and uh, either letting go or just making that, that compromise that makes everybody happy. Um, next we have intuitive communication. <laughs> With these three cards, of course, we have meditation going with the flow and intuitive communication, which, you know, are all messages of the heart and going inside and self-realization, which we also have been doing a lot of during cancer season, is really looking at the self and 
how can um, we better love this self? How can we better express the self? How can we better listen to our heart so that we know what we want in, uh, with job opportunities and love opportunities that are coming at us uh, this week and <clears throat> into Leo season? And so finally, then we have the Two of Cups, the King of Fire, and the Peace card. Dissolving unwanted or deserving, deserving thoughts. So, coming into Leo season, whatever fears we have, we have at this time let it go. And we are ready to rock. We are ready to fly. We are ready to uh, bravely move forward with strength in everything that's coming our way so that we may live more abundantly. All the work that you have done over the last month has really brought you an inner peace, an inner peace of the self and how you look at others. Well, everyone, I want to thank you so much for tuning in to today's um, energy reading, and I hope everyone is doing very, very well, and you continue to succeed as we move into Leo season in just a few short days, and we're ready to really move forward and push our ideas to the next level. Thank you so much for tuning in today, and until next time, bye for now.